Hello and welcome to About the House. The House Indigenous Affairs Committee has launched a new inquiry into the sale of inauthentic Indigenous style art in Australia. We caught up with Committee Chair Melissa Price to discuss the impact of fake art and merchandise. What we have heard about um, and you can read it on social media and through the news is that there's a whole raft of examples where especially in the um, like souvenir trade you go to somewhere in Melbourne or Sydney or even out to Alice Springs and more often than not you look on the back it could be a tea towel or a didgeridoo or whatever and it'll say made in China. Well, well clearly that, that's not being created in Australia um, by an Indigenous or a Torres Strait Islander artist and, and so therefore it's it's not doing credit to the culture of, 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 our, of our Aboriginal Australians. So we need to understand, well, who's getting the benefit of that? And people, you know, visitors coming to Australia, they can be forgiven for thinking that, oh, this money's going somehow to some Indigenous community, or isn't this wonderful that I've got this authentic piece of Indigenous art, um, whereas, you know, they may not do. The spread of inauthentic Indigenous art and craft can affect artists, sellers and consumers. I think the starting point is that we have to remember that Indigenous artists, and this is also you know, Torres Strait Islander artists as well, Indigenous artists and the communities um, in which these artists live is the benefit of them selling their art. So there's an economic benefit to the individuals, their family and the community. So that, that's a bit like, well, why do we care? Well, we care because it's about their culture, it's about their art, but it's also about the economic imperative that if, you know, like in any artist, um, to ensure that their work is protected. So that's sort of, for me, that's the overriding um, concern. The committee will be exploring the rights and obligations of individuals and organisations that make and sell these products. Well, I think, you know, we are policy makers and, you know, often what we do is we make legislation. So I'm very interested in what are the, what are the policy changes we can make to ensure that con consumer rights are protected, but particularly to make sure that the artist's rights are protected. And, and that's what the inquiry is going to show us. Thanks for watching. To learn more about this inquiry, attend a hearing or to make a submission, visit abh.gov.au forward slash Indigenous Affairs. Thank you.